Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Wizardry Workshop. In this video, we're going to be making cockroach clusters from Honeydukes. And there is no official like design for the packaging for this, so I kind of just like made something up that I thought looked like might be in Honeydukes. I based it off of like other packaging that we did see. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up down below if you do enjoy it. And if you're not subscribed, I do a whole bunch of Harry Potter DIYs and other magical content on my channel. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell. Down there, you're also going to find a list of all the supplies I use to make this DIY, as well as the free downloadable templates. Let's get started. First, let's talk about these templates. I printed the version that I'm going to cut out using my Cricut, so it has a, a thicker yellow border that's going to be cut, trimmed down. If you don't have a Cricut, you can print the other file, which has a smaller yellow border, and you can just follow along with your scissors or something and cut the whole thing out. And this is printed on 11 by 17 cardstock right here. There's also an 8.5 by 11 inch version, which just includes parts of this, and you would cut it out and then attach them together in the middle sort of and that's how you would uh, put this together but i am also planning to foil mine so i needed to print a solid black on this side with a laser printer in order to heat transfer my foil onto it if you don't want to do the foiling or if you can't do the foiling then you can just print it single-sided just this side but i did print the double-sided version like i said i'm going to be using my cricut to cut this out but first let's do the foiling i'm going to cut off um, the top part right here where this is because I don't want the foil to accidentally like stick to that for, for no reason. I'm just going to trim this down so it'll fit a little easier uh, into my plastic folder for my foiling. I do a lot of like gold foiling on my channel so I wanted to spice it up a bit today and we're going to do some green foil. I will be using my mink foiling machine as usual. We're just gonna turn it on and I'm gonna set the heat to two or three. I think I'm gonna go with three this time just to be safe. And then we wait for that to beep. It'll beep when it's ready and warmed up. In the meantime, we can get our foil ready. Recently, I figured out a pretty cool tip with this. If you put your foil in first, it really sticks to that plastic. And then you can just uh, slide your paper in on top of it like this and it's just easier to get it all in there at the same time without it folding and stuff and then one more thing this was printed on a laser printer on that side as well I don't want it to be like just touching the plastic here because some of that toner will come off onto the plastic from the heat so I'm just going to kind of mask it off with a piece of paper and I'll put that right in between the folder and the print. And now we're ready to run this through the foil machine. And there we go. And let's see how this looks. See, a little bit of that still came off on that paper because it got heated up. I wonder what material I could use to like prevent that from happening. And now we have the green foil on this side, which looks pretty cool. Next thing, we cut this out. Like I said, if you uh, did the template that doesn't use a Cricut, then you just cut it out with scissors. But I'm going to use a Cricut to do this. The way I have things measured out, I actually needed this to be the full 11 by 17 and I cut the top part off not thinking about it when I did the foiling. So I'm actually, I, I grabbed the piece that I cut off and I'm going to use that to help me get this in the right spot. So I'm going to take the piece that I cut off and put it right along the top like this and then I'm gonna, I can use that kind of to measure where the actual page should go. So it's going to go right here, and that should be good. I don't think I need it after that, but yeah. So, I mean, a minor mistake. 
everything is queued up on my computer. So we're just gonna run this thing through and maybe one day I'll do a dedicated Cricut tutorial. Once it's all cut out, it should look like this. Green foil on one side and the print on the other. Now there are just a few places we wanna fold this. So I'm gonna take a ruler and I'm also going to use my Cricut scoring tool. Um, and this is just an amazing thing to get. I love it, I use it all the time. So I do suggest you get this to score things before you fold them because it makes it so much easier. So we're gonna score all the way around this shape right here. So like anywhere where there's one of these pieces coming out, you wanna score it right where that piece touches the middle shape. And then we can start folding it. So we're just going to flip it over and fold all these pieces inward a bit like this. So we have like a nice crease like that. And the idea is for all of these pieces to sort of attach in between all of these little pieces right there, if you can see what I mean. You can put whatever you want inside of this, but what I recommend are these coconut clusters. They taste so good. It's dark chocolate and coconut, and it it just tastes so good and it looks like little cockroach clusters i guess like if there are a whole bunch of cockroaches clustered together covered in chocolate sounds gross but that's what it looks like however it's coconut so there you go this is honestly one of my very favorite snacks so i'm happy to use it in this diy and then you also probably want some cellophane bags because you want to like put a cellophane bag in here fill it up with the coconut clusters and then we'll put it all together so for the cellophane bags, we'll go ahead and open this up. So let's go ahead and grab one of these cellophane bags. Oh my God, this is a lot larger than I thought it would be. Is this just one bag? Oh my God, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, I thought this was a pack of many bags. However, it is one bag, but that's okay. We can work with this. So I'm just going to cut this down. The idea is to um, have like a little cellophane bag on the inside that this wraps around. So I'm actually just gonna go ahead and take a hot glue gun and I'm gonna put like a few little dots here and go ahead and glue the bag down, the cellophane down onto this bottom piece. Now let's put some of our coconut clusters in there. Just look how tasty those look. This will be like my movie night snack. I think we should be able to just kind of pull all the parts of the cellophane up into a little piece like this. And then I wanna make sure that these are gonna wrap all the way around. And it looks like they are. They're gonna wrap all the way around that. But you wanna keep it kind of like a little bundle of, <laughs> of, of tastiness. At this point, we're going to do a rubber band or a twine or something to kind of like tie this off right at the top. I'm gonna twist the top a little bit just to get it nice and closed up. And then I'm gonna use a rubber band. I can trim some of the top off and we're left with this. So I'm just going to sort of like spread out that top part that I cut like this. And then these pieces should just sort of wrap over it. And you wanna, you wanna try this first before you do any gluing or attaching anything to it. And I'm gonna use hot glue again and just a little drop on each one to get it to stay. So we'll start right here, just one little drop of hot glue. 
And then that part is going to go right there. So you can see it's kind of like this one. It was already printed underneath this top part. And now this one I've glued under there. And we're just going to keep going around in a circle until all of them are attached. And then right here we have our cockroach clusters from Honeydukes. And here is the finished packaging right here. There's the bottom right there. And then they kind of wrap around to that top part, almost like a little present. And then all of our chocolate is right inside. So I thought this would be a really fun thing to do at your Harry Potter parties or something. You could make a bunch of these and give them away. I really tried to design it very Honeydukes and magical, so I hope that that came across. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.